Hello, David here, and the project for today is dealing with a dead 12-volt battery on the Toyota Prius. This is a 2007 model, Generation 2, and the battery is dead, and I'm not able to open up the rear hatch. The battery is in the rear, and it doesn't have a key lock for the rear. It's all electric. So fortunately, the battery died with the doors unlocked, so I didn't have to worry about getting into the passenger compartment. But if that should happen to you and the battery dies with the door locked, uh, get to your key fob here. And if you slide this switch on the top, slide that down, your key will come out and you'll be able to unlock the door. And just put it back in like that. There are two ways to deal with a dead battery and it depends on your needs. If you need to get going right away, you're going to need to jump start the car. And if you have time, you can charge the battery with a battery charger. So let's talk about jump starting first. Open the door and release the hood latch. Locate the fuse box, which is right here. Okay, let's zoom in on the fuse box. What you want to do is uncover the positive terminal. There's a small black tab right here that you pull out. Pull out a little bit, don't break it. You just want to release this little nib on the red cover. And this is your positive terminal. You'll attach the positive battery cable on the jumper here and you can use this strut mount here for a negative to attach to the frame. Attach the negative jumper from the jumper battery to that and that way you'll be able to jump start the car. Some people try to charge their battery through here because this has a connection to the 12 volt battery but I do not recommend doing that. I would charge the battery directly on the battery because the owner's manual specifically states to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery when you're charging the battery. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of opening the hatch to charge the battery, you may damage electrical components. So uh, let's go over and uh, I'll show you how to open up the hatch on the, the car with a dead battery. Get to the rear latch. First we have to drop the rear seats. Next, we move the carpeting. Next, we want to remove the tray cover. Pull up on this tab. And lift it up out of the way. Next, we're going to lift the tool tray out of the way. And we want to focus into this area right here. Let's see if I get some light in there. There's a little latch in there. Let's see if I get this. See, lift up on that lever. That'll unlatch the hatch. And then uh, you're probably going to have to lift up with your head while you're you're holding down on the latch. But that's a process. And we're in. And I did need my head to open up the hatch while I was holding down on the lever. One thing I did notice was check out the spare. If you want to inflate the spare, there's a valve. It's facing the wrong way. You have to take the spare out in order to check inflation. Which I think I'm going to do now. Look, it's painted yellow so you could show everyone on the road that you're driving around on a little space saver spare tire. Inflation on these are 60 pounds per square inch. My uh, 
tire pressure gauge only goes up to about 45 so I've got my bicycle gauge here this thing goes up to 100 so you might need your bicycle gauge in order to make sure you have the proper inflation in your spare tire take the battery cover off pull this thing out and lift up there's the battery Use a 10 millimeter to loosen the and remove the negative terminal. I'm glad I checked that spare. There's only 10 pounds of pressure in there. When the dealer says they check everything, they don't really. All right, I got my charger hooked up. Hook up the charger before you turn it on and plug it in. I got my charger set to 12 volts, 2 amps. I've been reading around that you should never charge more than 3 amps. Some places I've been reading 2.5 amps because uh, it could damage the circuit. So this is good. Let's turn it on. It's on. I'm going to end it here. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye now.